Be careful, kids. Attila is more dangerous now than before we tamed him. Those were certainly profound first words to speak on Earth's new moon. I'm not making speeches, Roberts. I'm concerned about keeping everybody alive. Commander, I can collect rock samples later. Right now, I would like to get below the surface down into that tunnel. We're gonna do it eventually. We might as well do it now. You agree, Robbins? I'm game for it. I've called the pig. We'll send it on ahead to light the way. Remember, any rock may be loose and any wall may collapse at any time. Please be careful, everyone. Cora, send down the pig, please. We'll need the light. unusual break? It's hard to determine how this tunnel was formed. It wasn't created by the explosion? No, no, it's very ancient. The explosions opened the door, but this tunnel... Old, but not as old as the asteroid. What does that mean? I don't know yet. It just feels... unnatural. There are some odd projections near the bottom of this tunnel that don't seem to belong here. Robbins. Come in, Robbins. Robbins here. I read you. See anything interesting? Everything here is interesting. But it's Brink who actually understands what he's saying. Hard to believe this asteroid just happened to come visit Earth. Almost as if somebody decided our sky wasn't interesting enough with just one moon. Looks like Brink lined up the nukes perfectly. Yes, Commander. The mission is a success. Everything looks pretty strange with the light coming up on the pig like this. My dad used to put a flashlight under his face on Halloween and scare the neighborhood kids. It made him look so eerie. Low out. Low to Brink. Come in, Brink. Brink here. I read you. You see anything unusual? It's hard to determine how this tunnel was formed. It wasn't created by the explosions? No, no, it's very ancient. The explosions opened the door, but this tunnel... Old, but not as old as the asteroid. What does that mean? I don't know. Let me think a minute. I'll check back with you. You figure things out yet, Brink? I don't know yet. It just feels unnatural. There are some odd projections near the bottom of this tunnel that don't seem to belong here. Be careful maneuvering around these rock walls. These walls are more stable than I expected, Commander. But of course I'll be careful. Sorry, we don't have any better light source than the pig. My problem isn't lack of light. It's lack of experience with the interior of asteroids. Low out. Load aboard and do you copy? I read you, Low. What is it? Anything from Houston? No, the tracking stations report that everything's fine so far. I can't tell you how strange it feels down here looking at these rock walls. Yeah, well, I can't tell you how boring it feels to be up here looking at the same old instrument panels. The pigs seem to hold up pretty well on the nuclear explosions. Yep, every now and then, the lowest bidder does it right. Low out. Cockpit out. Miles, this is low. Do you read? 
I read you, Low. What is it? How's the O2 supply? Holding up well enough. But it won't last forever. Make every minute count. I'm sorry you can't see what we're saying, Cora. I'm getting the video from your suits. But you're right. It isn't the same. How long will the pig hold out as a light source? Plenty of time. If it starts to run low, we can pull my baby up to the surface and let the solar batteries recharge. Low out. Look at this, Brink. This can't be natural. Definitely not. A metal plate. Definitely an artifact. An artifact? But who could have put something like this in a tunnel? Yes, yes. I think it's clear. Wherever Attila came from, there was someone there. Could this be part of some kind of message? Like the one NASA put in Voyager. If it's a message, I don't understand it. Whatever it is, we've got to tell Houston immediately. Negative, Robbins. I'm clamping down total security as of this moment. You've got to be kidding. You've been telling me all along you just want to be an ordinary member of the mission. I've had secret orders all along to look for any sign of alien presence on this rock. And now that we've found it, my instructions are clear. What I want to hear from both of you right now is, I understand, Commander Lowe. I understand and agree, Commander Lowe. There is nothing to be gained from a premature announcement. Robert. I understand, Commander Lowe. Ken. Ken, Lowe here. I read you, boss. Tell Houston that I said Attila's a real hunt. What? Is that some kind of joke? Just tell them, Borden. You'll receive new communication protocols immediately afterward. Oh cool, this is like a secret code. Just think, Cora. You're the only one in Congress who knows anything about this. Houston says the message is received and they're transmitting new codes. We're getting back to work down here, Ken. Blow out. I'm giving this baby a little push. If that doesn't work, Commander, give it a big push. The plate just dropped down inside something. The plate is gone? Robbins. Come in, Robbins. Robbins here. I read you. Does all this mean anything to you? It means that military secrecy is probably going to stop the scientists of the world from studying one of the great secrets of our time. Thanks for your help, Robbins. Relax, Commander. I know it isn't your idea. Don't worry, Robbins. The secrecy won't last for long. We just have to have some idea of what we're dealing with before we take off the lid. I'm as eager to know what these metal plates are about as you are. I'm hoping Dr. Brank can make some sense of what we're looking at. Whatever it is we're looking at. Low out. Brank, this is low. Do you read? Brank here. I read you. If it's not a message, then what is it? It could be anything. Discarded garbage? A doorway? Maybe the message is simply not visible to our eyes. I don't know. I'm thinking of giving this sucker a big solid push. So far your instincts have been good, Commander. What do you think of Miss Robbins? It's a little awkward having a reporter with us now that the mission parameters have changed. But I am sure she will maintain her professionalism. 
Slow out. Gordon, this is low. Do you read? I read you low. What is it? Anything from Houston? No, the tracking stations report that everything's fine so far. I can't wait till I get up there and tell you what this is all about. Oh, take your time, boss. I'm only going crazy up here, not knowing anything about what's going on. Low out. Cockpit out. Miles, this is low. Do you read? I'm here, Boston. Yak away. Cora, did you ever pass notes in class? All the time, Boston. I feel like somebody's passed me a note, only I don't know how to read it. Cora, I gotta tell you, after this trip, sitting around in Congress is gonna be real boring. Sitting around up here in the shuttle ain't exactly a thrill right now either, Boston. Low out. It's a small, dark opening. I think you're right, Brink. The stone projection isn't natural. Yes, but what is it doing here? I may be criticized for it later, but I'm gonna dig out one of these odd projections. It's your decision, Commander. Push another one. I wish we could be sure we weren't destroying whatever message they meant us to receive. It seems to me that if they didn't mean us to push these metal plates, we wouldn't be able to push them. Brink, I wish I knew what these odd projections are. I've taken pictures of them for analysis. some sort of inscription. Here's number three. It disappeared too. We're three for three here, folks. I've heard of putting a message in a bottle, but never in a big rock. Here's the last one. Well, we've done it. Whatever it is we did. Well, here goes nothing. We're with you, Commander. So, the asteroid is hollow. Time to update Houston. Low to shuttle. Static. Must be all this rock. We're cut off. Should we go back outside and call them? Nah, they can sit tight for a few more minutes while we poke around. Shallow indentation set into the raised platform. Thank you. 
I feel like someone turned me inside out twice. It's a little difficult to move now. That's because we've got gravity. Planet-type gravity. We're not inside the asteroid anymore. And the pressure is equalized. There's an atmosphere. Can we breathe it? Our suits are checking that automatically. Here we are. Yes, it's at least as breathable as the air in L.A. Of course, there's always the danger of airborne infectious agents. I don't think so. Alien microbes should be no threat to us. They have not evolved to make use of our cell structures. The oxygen in our suits won't last long anyway. I say we take them off and save the remaining oxygen for the return trip. If there is a return trip. The air tastes good. Hmm. Surprise, surprise. Attila was a spaceship all along. A starship. Faster than light. We're not in our own solar system. No planet but Earth has an atmosphere like this, and this ain't Earth. After so many years of bad TV shows and crackpots with phony pictures, here is the real proof. There is alien life. Load a cockpit, over. Load a payload, over. Yeah, I'd say we're out of range. Way out of range. I don't see any aliens coming to greet us. For all we know, it might have been a million years since these people sent out Attila, and they long since died out. I don't know about you, but I didn't pack a lunch. Or a can of pop. Well, we might as well look around and learn what we can about this place. We might be here a while. <laughs>